All right, guys, I'm headed down here to our local Salt Lake County Stillwater. Now I'm gonna go chase the Bonneville Cuts today. I'm excited to do some stillwater fishing. It's been a while that, you know, wasn't a community pond. And gonna be testing out a few new stillwater patterns today. I wanna add some stillwater flies into the shop, so I'm gonna do some testing on some new patterns. Anyways, I'm super excited to come out and fish today. Hopefully we can find some nice cutthroat. All right. I've got my seven weight with me today and my five weight for indicator rigs. But I got a streamer tied on. Got a floating line on it now. It's kind of shallow in this end. If we get to some deeper water, I might throw the sinking line on. But I'm just gonna see if I could. Move a fish early here in the morning. Before we start staring at an indicator. It's a beautiful morning. It's gonna heat up pretty nice today. You know, nice weather usually means kind of crap fishing, but hopefully the warmer weather will get some of the lake bugs moving and get some active trout. That's the hope at least. <laughs> this is actually my first time casting this rod and this Titan taper pairs pretty well with it. This is a seven foot, or it's, sorry, a 10 foot seven weight. It's gonna be like my big boat float tube rod for bass and bigger cuts like up at strawberry and stuff. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a test today. And I actually like the way it casts. This is a Reddington Predator and I've got a TFO NTR reel on it. Not quite deep enough when I'm thinking of throwing the sinking line on. This should still get down pretty decent. We also know fish have been rising so they're not all on the bottom, they're in the water column so. Just keep doing this. Oh, that was a, that was a fish. Okay. Dang. Okay, let's throw the indicator rig. Alright, so I've got a balanced leech and a coronamid on here. There's one. Come on. Yep. No! I thought I had him. This is gonna be as frustrating as the ponds. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, we're getting bit though. We're around fish, that's for sure. Hopefully we can execute a little bit better or the fish will eat it a little bit better too. That'd be helpful. It's 
Right now we're 0 for 5. There we go. Finally hooked into one. Doesn't feel that big. But let's get him to the net, huh? Not a bad one. Eat my Karana mid. All right, cool. Pop right out. So that one was on my little experimental chronomid. Is that waves or a fish? Maybe waves. Yeah, my little experimental chronomid. It's got some goose biots for wings. I I thought they'd make like a good little wing imitator for, you know, the budding wings on pupa. Oh, there's another one. That one might feel a little bit better. Oh, let's get him on the reel. Okay. Eating a little bit better. Another one on the chronomid. Oh, GoPro wasn't on. Well, GoPro was not on, so Big Camera's gonna have to do that one. We've got another one on the Coronamid. It's all wrapped up, too. There we go. He gone. Finally, it's been a while. Cool.
silver lancer. Just like bumped it. There we go. Nice. It's a better one. It's for sure a better one. Oh, that's a nice one, guys. Yeah. Ooh. What a tank. I popped right out. <laughs> Didn't get the picture, guys. No! Did I break them off? Nope, just pulled off. Better trip the hooks. We've lost two nice ones in a row. That sucks. That looks like a big one. Oh, that is a big one. Let's not lose this one. That's got to be a 20 inch cut. Dude, what a nice fish. Where's my net? Oh god, I can't find my net. Dude, look at that cut, guys. Yes! Oh, that's easily a 20 inch cut. Awesome. Also hurt my back reaching for that net. <laughs> Old man Bob. Come on. Look at that cut.
All right, guys, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Hopefully this keeps up and it just stay active all day. That'd be sweet. So let's talk a little bit about uh, lake spots and why this one is so good. So, oh, you know, before I can talk. Oh, that's it. That one's pissed. All right, we'll get back to that conversation later. Or that topic later. Dude, what is this? Just angry? Just angry, I guess. It's another big one. I kind of have him in the side of the mouth, though. That's why he's fighting hard. again. Good fly, Lance. His teeth are like right there. There we go. Alright, no underwater shot for this guy. Just normal release. Go cut. All right, so what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, why is this spot so good? So there's a big flat to our right that usually has a, it's got a lot of silt, but it grows a lot of weed beds too. So that's where the midges kind of burrow and you know, all the, all the stuff that burrows in a silty bottom, weed bed bottom, is kind of in this area. So that's where the coronamids are hatching. And then off to our left, we've got deeper water, so the fish can kind of move in and out to feed as they want. And this is just kind of in their lane. So when you're lake fishing, you're always looking for structure or contour changes, stuff like that. If you're not... Uh, actively fishing cover like a weed bed or something it's you're looking for cruising lanes and depth changes and anything that kind of like pulls fish towards it i guess so to me this area having the feeding flat to the right and the sanctuary water to the left we're getting a lot of fish moving in between them and they're just picking off the coronamides you know, they pass by. So when you're out still water fishing, you want to look for, you know, stuff that's going to draw fish. You know, your generic rocky bank or bay will, will hold a few fish, but you really want to look for those specific lanes. There we go. Dude, they're just all over here. There's another one with it. Let's see if he'll eat the other coronamid. Okay, we'll have to go get your friend after this guy. Oh, that one's on mine. Cool. 
my little prototype. And pop out. Nope. Oh, we might have to touch this guy. That's freezing. He's in my neck. Relax. There we go. Cool. Yep. There we go. There's another one with it again. Probably we're wrapped up on the GoPro. smaller guy. I think he's online again as well. Yep. That's my coronamid. I should I do, yeah. What's your YouTube name? Trout Flies. Trout Flies. Yeah. One word. <laughs> F I F L I E S? Yeah. Ah. I got you. I know it's just small offering, but you want a beer? Sure. I see that sun's starting to come down. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah. Have fun at the show. Look forward to seeing you, hopefully. Yeah. Nothing like a still water beer to make looking an indicator better. Let's see if I can do this one handed. There we go. Oh. No! Okay. One-handed beer fishing. Not the best way to set a hook there, huh? All right, so let's kill this. It's time to put the leech on now that we got a little more chop.
Oh, yep. There we go. That looks like a big one too. Keep them pinned. Okay, so I'm getting more hits on the right, which means it's shallower, so maybe they're moving up. That's, that's at least my idea. I thought this one was bigger than it is. It's just a cookie cutter, I think. No, that's not bad. Not, not a bad one. And that's flopping around. Took the micro on it again. Oh, that's actually a pretty good one. We'll go ahead and call that pretty good. He tore up my fly. That's actually a real, pretty nice fish. Look at that cut. Fatty. Cool. Alright. No guys, I, I was torn between floating Deer Creek and coming here. And I'm really happy with my decision. I know we probably would have smashed them on Deer Creek. People have been slaying it. I think that's a fish. People have been slaying it out there. I've seen the reports. But big cuts beats uh, cookie cutter bows any day. So I'm in for this for sure. Definitely in for this. What do you coronamid? Yep, coronamid. Not the leech. It's doing well though. We might have a decent still water pattern on our hands. Still not a bad one, no complaints. There we go. Stay tight. Oh. Chronomid again. This guy's getting all wrapped up, I think. Oh no, he's okay. There we go. Nice. Yep. Okay. Good move. Not a bad one.
Oh, a decent one. Okay. Fun day on Little Dell. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for our day here on Little Dell. You know, the bite was good for about two and a half hours this morning, but you know what they say, don't leave fish to find fish, and I left and walked across the lake and didn't catch anything after that. But it was fun for that flurry of activity. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks.